Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Having Ceres in Capricorn or the 10th house says that you were nurtured by basically seeing the importance of being responsible and you will encourage your children to be responsible and the way how you may have come to being this way or thinking this way could have been because maybe you had a parent that wasn't responsible and because of because your parent lacked responsibility and accountability maybe things happen to you that wouldn't have happened to you if your parent was more responsible and accountable. And in another situation, you may have just had a parent that, you know, was more satarian, a parent that told you and and, and install, installed, instilled in you the importance of being a hard worker, the importance of your legacy, the importance of what you will leave behind, the importance of how people see you, the importance of success, and having something tangible in this life that you will be known for to leave behind for other generations to come, or just, you know, something to be known for, like someone getting a street named after them. Because Ceres energy is all about how we nurture ourselves and how we nurture others. So you will nurture others by basically encouraging them to be hard workers, encouraging them the importance of financial stability, financial security, and taking on the responsibility of, you know, the people that they love and the people that they care about. So you as a parent will encourage your child to say, you know, work hard. And if college is something that you subscribe to, you may encourage your child to go to college and climb the financial ladder as far as it could go and be a major success. Because whatever you experienced growing up, it encouraged you to basically climb that financial ladder and become a major success, major success. And like I mentioned, you could have been encouraged that way in a negative way and you could have been encouraged that way in a positive way. When it comes to going with the flow with this placement, like your way of going with the flow is going to be a rough way of going with the flow. I say rough because two things. Capricorn energy is cardinal energy. So cardinal energy goes from one extreme to the next. And you know, that doesn't really allow much flowing, you know, and at the and at the same time, so it's like you might it's like the the goat climbing the mountain goat climbing the mountain. The mountain goat doesn't climb the mountain in a straight line. It has to kind of jump around, but it's moving up. And that's similar to Capricorn energy. So it's like the way you go with the flow is going to be a way that seems pretty extreme, but at the same time, you're still going with the flow. And the next thing is Capricorns need to be in charge or responsible, you know, so with the need to be in charge or responsible, your way of going with the flow might be you taking responsibility for the flow, you know, so maybe you take on some form of responsibility by being the one to be responsible for some aspect of the flow. And, you know, series energy talks about how we eat, how we nurture ourselves. And when it comes to you eating and nurturing yourself, you might find that a lot of what you eat and consider to be healthy might come from, you know, what you were taught growing up, how you were fed growing up. Like a lot of the times, you know, we are so accustomed to eating what our ancestors ate. And maybe at the time they ate what they ate due to famine and different challenges that were going on on the earth or, you know, in their situation. So that may might be what conditioned their eating or caused them to make those decisions when in this time that might not work for us. And we're so basically we hold on so tightly to traditional ways of doing things 
when in all reality those ways of doing things don't work for us anymore and we might have a hard time realizing that you know what we're eating isn't good for us because we're like well our ancestors ate it and why isn't it good for me if it was good for them you know so basically that's an example of when it comes to eating like a lot of what you will consume will be traditional dishes you will appreciate traditional dishes because you know capricorn energy having to do with saturn energy you know puts a big emphasis on the father the father figure and the importance of the father figure a way how you might nurture yourself you know also might be you know you might have a good relationship with your father and maybe you don't have a good relationship with your father but the father figure energy because saturn is that father figure energy you might nurture yourself by dwelling in that energy and i guess a way to dwell in that energy is to sit down and think about ways how you can rescue your family you know your siblings even though they're all working jobs and doing things for themselves for you you might say I can't wait to become rich one day so that they don't have to work even though they're already taking care of themselves but in your mind you know you want to take on that responsibility and make sure that they don't have to lift the finger one day if they don't have to and be careful with this energy because I feel like this energy putting so much responsibility on the individual can cause depression at times you know because it's like say right now your life isn't flowing that way but you feel bad about yourself because you're not able to take on this responsibility you know that you see yourself carrying on so it's important to basically look at balance and at the same time know that there is a creator and the creator has everything under control so it doesn't have to be your responsibility to save the world or save others or anything like that that everything is flowing the way how it's supposed to and if you feel called to take on responsibility to do certain things just know that the creator will provide you with everything that you need in order to do whatever you are called to do and if you don't have what you need to do whatever you feel called to do just trust that everything is working itself out because with this placement you know and one nurturing themselves with capricorn energy i can see a lot of good coming from it in the sense that that needs to be responsible however you decided that you know it's important for you to be responsible for others and yourself and putting a lot of burden and a lot of weight on yourself in the process. You know, it could be good for the collective, but not necessarily good for you because it's like you're taking on this load that maybe no one asked you to take on, you know, so the way how you'll nurture others is by encouraging them to be ambitious, encouraging them to be successful, encouraging them to sit, you know, to, to deal, to have some kind of a legacy. And I don't have this placement, but I could relate to this placement uh, to the point where I used to feel that, you know, everyone want to be successful entrepreneurs one day. When all in all reality, some people have dreams to just be a good parent. And being a good parent to me is like being a nurse or a teacher. It's a role where you're taking on, you're, you're dealing with people in their most vulnerable state. And I feel like that is a very important job and responsibility to have and some people that's all they want to do and that's okay and at one point i couldn't understand why everyone don't want to be successful and be some kind of entrepreneurial shark or whatever you know so be careful that you're taking on responsibilities that you don't need to and in the process placing those responsibilities on people who don't want them and don't need them. When it comes to appearance, when it comes to clothing, Capricorn energy, having series in Capricorn, series talks about how we nurture ourselves with food and also clothing. So when it comes to clothing, you might find that you are attracted to practical clothing. You know, practical clothing could be earth fibers, meaning you know earthly fibers things that are breathable not man-made fibers like polyester and things like that and also there will be a sense of like professionalism when it comes to your appearance like it doesn't it's not it's not loud very laid back and chill but then at the same time 
there's a level of responsibility in the in the appearance if that makes sense you know like so say even on a chill day i'm ex i'm imagining like say black or gray like uh knit type sweat material you know simple pants simple top you know something that looks a bit professional even though it's laid back and chill loungewear if that makes sense so if you are still here with me please drop me a orange heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video